Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video and in today's video I'll be asking my wife here. Hello. This is Evelyn. Uh, I'll be asking her questions about the bicycle industry about different prices between items and we're gonna figure out whether or not she can tell a difference between them and see what her idea is. Now you guys might think she's biased because she knows I work at a bicycle shop. I tell her my sales daily uh, but she really doesn't pay attention to it like for no she doesn't No. <laughs> for instance um, what bicycle brands do I carry in my store? Um, specialized in Trek. No. No, not Trek. Sorry, just specialized. Uh-huh. And what else? And Beach Cruisers. Yep. Okay. And, and Scott and BMC. Okay. Okay. All right. And, uh, <laughs> how many, uh, on average, what do the bicycles cost in my store? Um, like the high-end ones? What do you, what do you think, like, what do you think I do all day? Like, so, like, what kind of bikes and stuff? I would say on average, maybe, like, four to five thousand. Okay, that's a decent. I mean, because I talk to her about numbers daily, so, but she doesn't really pay that much attention to it. And how many subscribers do I have on YouTube? Over a hundred K, thank you. And what's the exact number? I don't know. Do you watch any of my videos on channel? Sometimes. Okay, that's good. <laughs> good to know. Okay, so, in today's video, like I said, I'm going to be asking her a question to see... What a normal person thinks about bicycles and bicycle prices. So we're going to go down here. This might be a layup to her because of the fact that I sell Specialized. But this is today's day and age, a bicycle by Specialized here. This is their this is their bicycle that is like known by them. And S-Works is their name brand. How much do you think this bicycle costs to the consumer going in and out the door? I would say 8000 8000 and And... Any reason why? Do you think that's worth it? Do you think that's a normal number? Isn't S Works like a really nice version of like Specialized? That is, you are correct there. Yes, okay. S Works is like their performance line, like a AMG or like a M5 okay. or something like that. So you think around eight thousand, and you think that's you think that's reasonable? Do you think that's fair? Would you be okay spending eight thousand dollars on that? Um, she doesn't ride bikes. She doesn't yeah, like bikes. I think that's a crazy amount of money for a bike, mm -hmm. but I understand that's what. They go for what do you think what what would you be comfortable paying with this bicycle right here what would you be like okay i'll buy that bike for a gift for someone i have no idea maybe two thousand okay that's fair <laughs> enough okay specialized don't kill me now <laughs> so she said here eight thousand we'll go back and review these at the end of the day and we'll uh we'll show the price of them now i'm gonna show you another one they Ooh. look they look very similar right like the frame shape everything the wheels kind of like the same this has a nice color green, right? Yes. You even said that. You go, ooh. Yes, I like the color. Okay, so usually, okay, so so what would you think that this Specialized goes for right here? How much do you think this one? I would say worth? it has to be less than the first one. Okay. It's not an S-Works. That's very true. Um, I would say this one's maybe like six, five or six. Okay, that's that's not bad at all. That's actually, uh, that's, I mean, you're not on the mark there, but for sure, that's, and again, you're just basing that off of... Just because I know it's a lesser version of the one you showed me prior okay do you think any bikes cost cheaper than six or something like that like do you think like the do you think do you think that they're like like why made you say six why not like a thousand i don't think specialized sells bikes for a thousand <laughs> okay <laughs> well they do but yeah okay. Oh, okay uh okay and then we got another road bike right here as well this is a trek and okay. i know you know trek because everyone knows trek in america um this is another road bike comparable to the bike that you just saw how much do you think this one's worth this one looks like two to three thousand. Oh, really? Why do you say that? I don't know. There's something about it that looks a little cheaper. Okay. Maybe is it the wheels? Yes. Maybe it is the wheels. Okay. All right. So let me see the other. Do you have the other one up? Yep. And let me see this one. Let me see that yeah. One? There's something that looks a little off. Image about one. It. Image two. Image one. Image two. Okay. It looks a little bit off. Okay. So let's go back and review prices. So she said eight thousand dollars for this one. This one is in fact, if you went into a store with eight thousand dollars to go ahead and buy this bicycle, you would be about 50% off. This bicycle is $14,000. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, so go ahead. You're poor. You cannot afford this bicycle. Uh, this one, you said about $6,000. You are, I mean, in the realm of the good area, this is about $8,500. Wow. This is, oh, you are so into this video. <laughs> this video, or this bicycle right here, is their top tier, okay? And this is the second under it. Oh, I see. I kind of guessed that. Yeah, one is 14, one is eight. Do you think do you do you think you know the reason why there's a difference between six grand for that bike to that bike? Well, I know the S Works version you said was like their higher model. Why? Do you think it'll make you faster? Do you think it'll make maybe you maybe more comfortable? Do you think a it'll make little it better? bit more bells and whistles? Okay, fair enough. That's that's pretty much yeah. They 
a little bit better than the list of Now we're gonna go into a realm completely off here, and she doesn't know about that I did this, this video, but we will continue with bike parts in a second. <laughs> what is this? My bag I want. Okay, well, what brand is this? Louis Vuitton. And if you had to guess, how much is this bag right here? Is this a real version of Louis Vuitton? This is a real version of Louis Vuitton. Isn't, I think it's like $3,500? $3,500. Do you think that that bag is worth that much money? Absolutely. Do you, why? Because name brand? <laughs> it's name brand. Okay. It's an investment. It's an investment. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's fair enough. That's a, that's a woman's bag. I also did some Google searching right here. This bag right here. This is a woman's purse. Okay. Okay. How much do you think this bag is worth? I've never heard of that brand, so I'm going to have to say maybe $30. Okay, but doesn't it look very similar to, to it? And also, wouldn't we make the case that this bag can do everything that this bag can do? Absolutely. You can do everything with it, right? Yes. But if I bought you this bag and came home with it, would you be okay with it? I would be with okay with anything you bought Okay, me. that's But fair. I would prefer the other one. <laughs> Just because it's the name brand. So do yes. you, so in reality, this, this bag is $3,500. This bag right here is, I believe, $50. Okay. Do you think there is a difference, or do you think it's worth the money that this bag is 1,000 times the cost of this bag? Well, I know with Louis Vuitton, if you purchase a bag, they sometimes tend to go hot, like up in price, mm. so that's why it's an investment. You could always resell it for more later. But if you use it. If you use it, then And no. you get lipstick in there and stuff like that. No. But okay. you could still sell it for a lot of money. Oh. That other purse, you wouldn't be able to do that. You would lose all fifty dollars. Wow, interesting. Do you think bikes hold value? No. Why? Because it's like a car, wear and tear. Depreciated value. Yes. Okay. Wow, you're pretty smart. Okay. <laughs> all right. So that one I just threw in there just to show off that bicycles are similar to handbags in this matter. And I try to make this point across my channel all the time that there is a don't look at me. There, <laughs> <laughs> there is a. Don't look at me. <laughs> there is a thing where they have top tier bikes that are fourteen thousand dollars. They also have bicycles that are two thousand three hundred dollars. This bicycle is right on the realm of what you said, two thousand three hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Now, they can both do the exact same thing. One might just give you that better feeling while riding, and one might just make you feel a little bit better, or maybe it's a little bit faster, or whatever it might be. But at the end of the day, you can typically do exactly the same thing that you want to achieve with this bike or with this bike. So it's just name different brands carry different names on there okay or different names carry different prices on there okay, okay wow lessons learned yes. right. i Let's, still want the louis though. okay yeah we're not getting that <laughs> okay so wheels right here these are the part of the bicycle that make it spin roll uh these are carbon fiber wheels yes. carbon fiber wheels carbon fiber spokes carbon fiber very light yes do you know this brand i do not know i don't know any wheel brands okay that's great the specialized make wheels I don't think so. Hmm. Do they? They, uh, they have a company that's like in-house that's like their own separate company, but it's under their umbrella. Revolve. But it's titled, oh, it's yeah. called Revolve? Yes. Revolve. Revolve. Also. Okay. How much do you think these wheels are as a pair right here? I am not good with wheels. So um, let's take a look at this. If this bicycle is $8,000 and has wheels like that. You but gotta... isn't the, f the frame obviously is the most important part? Yeah. Typically, yes. But wheels make a big difference. How much do you think those wheels are worth? Hmm. Hmm. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Okay, that's fair enough for the set. Maybe a thousand for the set. I'm not sure. No, don't change your answer. Okay, five hundred. Oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much? How much are these? So this is another company. This is a company called Zip. Have you ever seen these wheels before? Nope. Those look a lot nicer. They do, mm -hmm. just appearance-wise. Okay. How much do you think these wheels go for for a set? Mm, Two thousand. For the set? Okay, 2000 for the set. Okay. Uh, kind of close, not really. These <laughs> wheels right here are a cheaper brand that offers more of a affordable price point. These wheels right here are $1,300 for the set. Still pretty expensive. I mean, that's that's for an upgrade that usually you would take on this bicycle right here. Like you said, the wheels are cheaper. And you throw something on here and it'll make the bicycle a different ride feel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And these wheels right here, Zip is a bigger company. It's owned by SRAM. And these wheels as a set are $4,000. Oh, okay. Do you think that these are two times faster than these wheels right here? Do wheels make you faster? Uh, or is it the, the person? It, oh, that is that <laughs> is the question that Cycling YouTube always says. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, people tend to see things. But if there's two identical people, the exact same fitness level, 
and one person has carbon fiber wheels and one person doesn't, the idea behind it is, is that it's going to make you faster. Okay. They're lighter, so they spool up quicker. They accelerate faster. They're carbon fiber one, correct? Yeah, they're lighter. And also the, the deeper depth as well holds aerodynamics. Okay. Like when I wear my, my, my bicycle suit. Do you like me in my bicycle suit? Yeah, very sexy. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the transmission of the bicycle. These are the gears, okay? Okay. These are the gears that we go ahead and put on the bicycle. So you shift the bike, the cassette, the crank. What's the derailleur? You showed me this before. Mm. Is it mm. this thing? Do you point at this right here? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you showed me this. That's that's the brake. That's the brake disc right here. She's, sorry, she's she's referring to this right here. That's a brake disc and that's a brake caliper. The derailleur. The derailleur is right here. Oh, that was going to be my second guess. Yeah, always a second guess. So we have a company here by Shimano that is pretty big in the industry, and they really do supply a lot of the components on here. Shimano Durace. You got the shifters, you got your crank, you got your chain, you got your cassette. This basically moves the bicycle. This is how you put force into the bike. How much do you think this is as a whole? Okay. Including wheels or no? No wheels. What am I looking at again? Just what? The, everything else besides the wheels in here. Boom, 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 boom. You, this is basically what you need to go ahead and build a bicycle up. Um, this is this is like a, a crucial part of the bicycle or else you cannot ride it. Okay, maybe 2,500? That's, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Okay. Now this is... Is it a good guess? Am I way off? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a good guess. Now this is also made by Shimano as well, but this is kind of a different... Uh, Tier level, like cars, how they make different cars and stuff like that. They have different engine outputs and stuff like that. Think about this like the transmission. This is Shimano 105 Di2. Same exact thing right here. How much do you think this group set is? They're both Shimanos? They're both Shimanos. They're both 12 speed. They're both electronic. Hmm. And the weight difference is probably 200, 300 grams. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> um. I don't know. You, is hold, it more? I don't know. Hold on. We're getting distracted because our son picked up the phone. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. We're good. Can I see the other one? Okay. Yeah. This is this image one. This one looks nicer to me. Why? I don't know. I just like it's, the black. It and, looks sleek. Yes. This is also black. I guess. Maybe it's the chain. Is the chain black on the other one? No. no. Okay. I have no idea. Maybe. You said this one's 25. So I would say this one's maybe 2,000. Okay. That's actually really, really good. So, the price on this one right here that you're looking at is about $2,000 retail. Okay. The price for this one right here, the exact same 12 speed and very similar gearing and the way it shifts is every exact same thing. This one retails for $4,400. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, wow. Would have never guessed that. Would never guess it. Do you think that is worth it? Like, would you ever <laughs> think Again, have... it's not my cup of tea, so no. <laughs> okay, then that's, that's fair enough, I guess. But, um... Yeah, that's the reason why this bike comes with the four the four thousand group set and the more money and so that. Basically, in today's video, I was trying to show that there are differences between these group sets of prices and what a normal person would pay. Now, at the end of the day, I think my wife is pretty biased because I work in the industry, but there are people that come into my store all the time that are shell shocked by price and don't understand it. But Everyone has their own niche, like I said, for the bags. She knew exactly what price it was. She knew exactly what I was willing to pay. And she, in her mind, that was okay with it. There are other hobbies out there. There are other things out there that people buy that they were okay with spending money on that it does not make sense to people, but it makes sense to the other people. So, well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, I would like to thank my wife for being part of this. Thank you. Uh, if you guys want her, more of her to be on the channel, go ahead and <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. Um, and we can do more videos of these. Um, and yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.